Hello, my name is Patrick playing Spelunky for Busted TV. We're going to be playing another run of Spelunky here today. Last time we did complete our challenge, our self-imposed challenge of getting to hell. This time around, I'm gonna try another challenge. And there's a couple of challenges in this game that I've never done before that I wanna do. One is beating the game in eight minutes. The other is beating the game without picking up any treasure. So I think, I think I'd rather do trying to beat the game without picking up any treasure. I think that one is gonna be a little bit more straightforward for me because I don't have to worry about rushing. And I'm not super amazing at Spelunky. I will, I'll probably need a little bit more practice before I could really do a, a speed run. In particular, I don't really know how to easily kill uh, Olmec. I don't know how to, how to make him bust down his platform very quickly, so that might be something that I might need a little bit of practice on before I could do a speed run. But, I think we can do a, ooh, I think we could do a, a, a no gold run, because that just means I can go slow, as long as I am careful, we should be fine, but I, I can't rush, you know, we're gonna have to go very slow here. We only need to do this once, because once we get the achievement for it, we'll never need to do it again. Shouldn't even destroy pots or anything, because it's all gold, and gold is not what we want to pick up here. So like right here, for instance, with that gold bar a little bit further away from the platform edge. Yeah, and there we go. Just don't die, Mo. Don't, don't die, dog. Now I can actually... Really quickly here, just turn up the volume. I'm having a hard time hearing. There we go. Ignore the ding from from Windows. You, oh. I, mm. There's a gold bar in the way. If I whip it, it'll fall on the dog and then I can't pick it up. Ooh, I guess if I'm very lucky though. I'm gonna swing around the gold nugget. There we go. We got the dog, we got a machete, and we didn't pick up any gold on the first level. Excellent. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna take multiple attempts. I'm gonna find a gold bar and be like, ooh, gold, and pick it up, and then ruin my chances. It's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. Or I'm gonna like, go down to the ice caves. There's gonna be, ah, we don't need it. There's gonna be snow everywhere, and I'm going to I'm going to uh, not see a gold bar and then pick it up. So I can't do any of this. I can't buy anything from the shop. I can't kill a shopkeeper. Reason being is that the shopkeeper's bodies drop gold and there's gonna be so many shopkeepers for the rest of the game that I'm gonna be killing them. They're gonna be dropping gold. It's gonna be a nightmare. I think we should just move on and not worry about killing shopkeepers on this run. Just focus on getting to Olmec killing Olmec, and then that's it. As much as I would like to be able to, you know, buy bombs, don't think we should do that here. I think we should just move on. Being very careful not to pick up any gold. Would still like to get as many crates as possible, because crates are bombs, ropes, and those are going to be important since I can't really pick up anything else on the run. We make this. This is all about a very... Almost hit that trap. Very, very, uh... slow, methodical approach here. Oh, drop the machete. You know what? We don't really need the machete. And like right here, this is dangerous because there's gold nuggets down there. If I fall down, I might accidentally pick them up. Uh, we don't need the dog, so I think I will just kind of leave. I'd rather save the rope, in all honesty. We, we're gonna need ropes. We're gonna run across a gold bar in our path and then we can't get around it and we've gotta use a rope for it, you know? It's gonna happen. Oh, 
Careful, careful. These things will explode violently. The other thing we gotta watch out for is, you know, things like explosions, they will blow up money, and that money is going to uh, bounce around, maybe go into our inventory. We gotta be very careful about this. Like this little tiny gold nugget here, gotta be very careful about that. So there's the chest, that means there is gonna be a key on this level somewhere. Just gotta look for it. Crap, there's a lot of gold down here, it's bad. But I need to look for a key. No key. There's the dog. No key. And watch out for the gold nuggets here. I'm just gonna whip them out of the way. That way I can make this jump and bring the chest with me. Doing good so far, but, you know, it can turn around very quickly. Oh, it landed on the gold bar! Damn it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and there's another gold bar next to it, too. Okay, well, how about this? No, it's not what I wanted. I'm gonna try to go around. And lucky. There we go. Get the chest. Toss it over there. You know what? Hold on. Aha! But we don't have the key. Yo, where's the key, dog? I don't mean dog, I mean, yo, where's the key? Oh, you, you, you know, we don't need the key. We don't need the key. We don't need to worry about the, uh, the Ujidai. So let's just, let's just leave. Because the, the, uh, the speedrun and the no gold achievement, they're only going down to Olmec. They're not going to hell. Otherwise, you would literally have to kill the shopkeepers because you couldn't, couldn't take any money and as a result you would not be able to buy the the onk we can get around gold gold is not a not a problem as long as we can see it the real problem is if you don't see it like it's hidden like there could be gold on top of a tree, and we can't see it. There could be gold freaking anywhere. We don't see it. I almost killed the dog right there. Wouldn't have been the best. Just stay, stay there for a sec, dog. This is gonna destroy the, destroy the tiki trap, and didn't create any piles of money, which is very nice. I kinda just wanna Get rid of the machete, but for now I'm just gonna hold on to it. Don't die, dog. I'm coming. Is there any money down there? I don't see any. Here. I do see though. Yeah, that guy right here. Oh, but he looked he turned around. Thanks, dog. Get him! Get him, boy, get him! And I think I can get my dog out of this. I'd rather have the boomerang, honestly, so. Oh! God! Picked up a gold bar. All right, all right, that's a, that's a good first try. Let's do it again, let's do it again. I just, oh. My brain did not process that there was gold there. Oh. Oh, what a shame. It's alright. Good first attempt. Good first attempt. Now I just gotta figure out how the hell I wanna do this. I think I can go in from this side. Yeah. Now there's some gold in the way. We can get this out of the way. Uh. Yes. And we get ropes. One bomb for three ropes is not that bad. I'll take it. We're gonna need both, but you know, at the same time, it's something we can use. See, like that gold bar behind the the wooden cross post there? That's dangerous, cause that'll that that you'll just pick up accidentally, and you won't think about it, and you'll be like, "Damn it, 
Gold. Get out of here, gold. This I like. This I like a lot. Might as well use the pot. This I like. We can use one rope. To get chest or crate which gives us more ropes hey it's worth it now we've got nine ropes and the teleporter the teleporter is okay if you can use it and we can use it maybe to uh, get around gold bars that we see you know maybe there's a gold bar in our way and we can't get around it just teleport past it we don't need to whip it we don't need to bomb it we don't need to rope it we can just teleport our way around it I like that I think I, I remember how to use this item now as well. Oh, God damn it. It's on the gold! There we go. There's a crate. I want the crate, but... Well, you know what we can do is we can get the crate and then teleport out, can't we? No. So why don't we... Uh, just kind of fall in here. We grab the crate. More ropes, you know, that's fine. And honestly, you know, I'm thinking, you know, why don't we, uh, oh, there's another crate, nice. Why don't we grab the cr the, uh, the chest and we'll get the Uja dies. So now we can see if there's gonna be gold in our path. Good. I think, I think this is fine. Crate. I'll bring it over here. Freeze gun. Uh, freeze gun's nice, but I think I'm gonna stick with the teleporter since it does allow me to get out of situations I might not want to be in. So, like right now, for instance, let's pop out here. Let's see what's in the shop. Lots of bombs. You know, as much as I would like to buy stuff, we can't. So we'll just take the teleporter and go. This is nice. Teleporter is also really good for speedrunning because you can just speedrun past traps and past things and it is nice. You know, jetpack is nice too, but you don't always get a jetpack. Much, much more likely to get a uh, teleporter. Dog's not gonna die, but dog might be a little bit in a bad place. I expected that would happen. like to just leave actually dog's dead dog's dead accept it move on accept our loss press F oh but there's this <sighs> da, 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 da. we've got it we've got to sacrifice stuff there's an altar the thing is is that we're not gonna be getting we're not going to be getting a lot of items on this run. So this is like one way that we can potentially gain items is by sacrificing things to Kali. Now we're going to need to sacrifice more stuff. You know, maybe I can sacrifice a chest? I don't know. Kali doesn't care about money. I don't think there's anything else to sacrifice, but we got we got to start making progress towards that, you know? I wish I saw that before I threw the dog down the pit. That's my bad, but one rope for a couple of sacrifices is perfectly fine. Get ourselves closer to getting, hell, climbing gloves, a uh, cape, a uh, jetpack, oh, spiders. Not spiders, I don't want spiders. I want spiders. All right, so there's the dog. Can get the dog. Oh god. It's gotta just gotta always be always be looking. Always be looking around. Seeing what there is in front of you. Oh and a crate. <laughs> Lovely. Another can I give the teleporter to the dog and say, hey dog, teleport yourself home. 
Come on. Yo, don't 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 kill yourself, dog. I don't see any place to sacrifice, so he's just getting sent to the exit immediately. Alright, we're done. Still have zero dollars? Good, have to check. You know, you don't you don't know it. But you'll you'll eventually run into a gold bar and be like, oh shit. Dead or restless. This is very interesting because we can get a shotgun here. One of these graves will be ashes, and we can just grab a shotgun. There's a crate. I would like the crate. Hey, Kevin. I'd like the uh, the crate there. We can get the crate there by getting this inner inner crate and then teleporting out. So we don't we don't need to worry about that right now. Tell you what. Haha! <laughs> Figured that would work, or I hoped it would work anyways. Just gotta be very careful not to disturb this, uh, this thing. So we're gonna take the teleporter, come up here, teleport out, and boom! Oh man, there's bees too? Cape! Dude, cape is awesome. Would love to be able to kill the uh, queen bee there, because she gives you a lot of health. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm just going to have to teleport out and take the dog to the exit if I can. Uh, dog's going to be in a rough spot. I'm going to have to save him. Ho oh, ho! Oh god. That should never have worked. Should never have worked. Oh, we don't need to use a bomb. I don't have any any like guns or weapons. I didn't find the uh, the ash grave for some reason. Where was it? If I could find it, I'd have to use a bomb. You know, I don't think it's worth it. We're gonna slowly gain HP as time goes on here because we're saving the dogs whenever we can. So I think this is fine. Watch out for the money, honey. See, this is... We, I gotta be a little bit careful about jumping onto the trees, because the trees... I can't see. I can't see if there's going to be... Uh, I can't see if there's going to be... A uh, bit of money or something. I think I use one rope here. I've got I've got a plan. Good. Go over here and come in here, because there's a chest right there. More ropes. Ropes are not bad. Just wished I could have gotten some bombs at some point. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully I can just take it out. No 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 no. I, I, I want to get the teleporter. I think uh, I heard the dog die. But I want to get the teleporter. Yeah. Teleporter is actually coming in handy when you understand how to use it. How it works is... It'll teleport you like three to five squares in front of you, and then if, if it doesn't find an open space, it'll start teleporting you up one, two, or three squares until it finds a space. So if I teleport, you know, here, I might teleport into the spider web or the spaces left or right of it. But if there was a wall there, then it would start going up in a line until it uh, found an empty space. So if you if you plan out your usage of the teleporter, you can get it not to kill you. But you gotta be a little bit careful with how you work it. I gotta go left here, there's a piranha, there's also a gold bar. I think if I get... well, I got the teleporter, just teleport past it. So... oh god! Well, now I've got to teleport past the piranha. First piranha kill. <laughs> Almost teleported me into the gold bar. That would have sucked. So that was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was like eight spaces in front of me that the teleporter teleported me. And then it, it 
t tried to teleport me into a square, so it went up one. And that up one made me land on the exit. Should not be risking this much with teleporting, but... This is fun. Oh god! I didn't see any money. The, the other good thing about having the Ujet Eye is that we can see if there's money in a rock. We can see if I'm gonna need to worry about a teleport or something. I think this is a situation where you just kill the bat and teleport, teleport your way to safety. Something like this. You know, could have been dangerous, could have been a, a piece of gold there, but lucky so far. Okay, we've got a parachute. Not that necessary with the cape, but still good. Still good to have. Hear the dog, but I can't do anything about him right now. Bombs are good. Now the thing is, is that if I find the dog with the teleporter, I can't teleport with the dog. It can only hold one thing at a time, so teleporting into the walls to try to find the dog is not the smartest thing if I don't want to use bombs to get him out, you know? Might prefer to have the boomerang. If I teleport, I might just die, so why don't we, why don't we just leave? Exploring, but also just leave. Oh. Freaking monkeys. Monkeys are the worst. Run. Ruined a million runs. In half as many days. There is a piece of gold here, so I don't really want to go any more to the right. But there's also a snail. I think I'd like to go around the snail, please. I like this. There's a lot of money in those rocks, and I was worried that there would be a little bit of a repercussion. <laughs> a little close, a little close, but we made it work. Now the ice caves, this is where it gets tricky. Because if it ever starts snowing, it's going to be really hard to know where the money is. It's going to fly around. There's a lot of explosions here. It's going to be tricky. I hear the dog. Dog is in rocks. So we're probably not going to get the dog. Sorry, dog. You know, yes, I'm causing some of these explosions, but gotta be careful of the mammoths. They will freeze you and kill you. There's the exit, and there's a crate. I like the idea of. Not what I wanted. Oh, that almost murdered me. If that mine had hit me, I would have died. I just, this is all for the freaking crate over there. I just want an opportunity to go grab it. Compass, dude, that's awesome. That's gonna help substantially for the temple. This is where it gets to be annoying. We've gotta position ourselves very carefully to ensure we don't pick up money. I'm just gonna beeline the exit now that I know where it is. Because there could be go a gold bar behind any of those snow piles on the ground. That's ex that's super dangerous for this type of a run. I don't like this, because I'm kind of hemmed in by the uh, UFOs. But we made it work. Turn around, please. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. This is why, uh, you have plenty of ropes. <laughs> Alright, you know what, let's, let's leave. <laughs> Before I murder myself. <laughs> okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Feels like the 4th of July. No! Also, well, bouncing gold. It's a shop? Dude, I wish I could buy stuff from you. There's also water. You don't see water pits very much in the ice caves, but they do exist. I don't like that UFO. I really don't like that. Plus the gold. No. This is an exit. Six bombs. I don't know how to do freaking Olmec. I think there's a way that you can get him to kind of just like keep bouncing back and forth, murder him very easily. Uh, we gotta go. Dude, we gotta, we gotta go! There could be gold behind this uh, pillar, so I can't actually do anything right now. I also can't kill him by jumping on his head. However, what we can do is teleport away. Oh, no! Dude, no! This this guy will telefrag you if he hits you. I want him to telefrag himself into like a wall, but he's a jerk. He telefragged me. He actually telefragged me. <laughs> oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. He he was jumping around. Oh. Well, we gotta do one more. We got we gotta do one more, but Jesus Christ, that is the worst way to go. What was I? What was I supposed to do in that situation? Tell me what I was supposed to do when I get freaking telefragged by Croco Crocodilian over there. Ugh, Jesus. That is that is heartbreaking. We had a good run too. We had everything we ever wanted in the world. Just needed to get through the rest of the temple, we would have been fine. Ugh. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright. This will be the run. I don't want the gold. I don't want to look. We're out. We're not speedrunning, but let's try to go a little bit faster than we did last time. It is still beneficial to grab the Ujedi if you can, so I would like it. If you have, I don't, I think I mentioned this last time, but if you have the spectacles, you see everything that the Ujedi sees, except the black market, but you do also get to see something that the Ujedi does not see. And if you have the spectacles, what you can see are items in walls. And that's going to be very important if we need items on this run, because we have no gold, spectacles might be the uh, most valuable thing for us. Now, Ujedi is not spectacles. You want the Ujedi so that you can ignore gold if you need if you need to, but you know if if we find spectacles somehow, they are a good thing to have. Now that's money. Don't want to take it. That's not the exit. It's gonna be this way. Dog. Come here, dog. Leave the shopkeeper alone. He doesn't love you like I do. Come here, boy. You want a bone? <laughs> I hope one day I can I can make that joke and be like, "You want a bone?" And then like someone's gonna be watching me on a TV in the living room. Their dog's gonna be like, <laughs> "Bone? You say bone?" That'd be adorable. I keep, like, going near the money, and I'm like, ooh, money. No. Bad. That's stuck in the rocks. Oh, but there's a crate. So I wanted to come over here, and we got paste. Dude, paste is awesome. Paste means we can actually kill things with bombs if we need to. Oop. Sorry. Slipped. <laughs> that was a slippery dog. Okay. Almost done with the ice caves, or <laughs> ice caves, I wish. Almost done with the normal caves. This is the last level. 
You were doing good. I got the Ujedi, right? Yeah, I did. I think one bomb for a crate is acceptable. It gave me a parachute, so it was worthless, but it could have been worth something. Like the compass, but... <laughs> I don't have any money for it. There's a lot of bats and things over here. What the hell? Lo oh, ho ho! Scared the shit out of me. It's like, oh my god, don't hit the gold! But don't hit the spikes either. Hmm. Careful. I'd rather have the rock than the blunt arrow, because the blunt arrow can't actually kill anything. The rock can. We're done. I don't want to go up the ladder, risk the gold bar, I'd have to whip it out of the way. I could do that, but let's just leave. No! No! First of all, this is awesome if I was doing a uh, speedrun, jetpack, compass, bombs. I was killing the shopkeeper, but also it's an it's our, it's our dark level. It's dark level is very scary because there's these torches on the ground, and these torches give you money if you light them. Also, there's these bugs. Can I whip them? Yes, I can. Nice. It's all just a freaking nightmare. Oh, God. Just gotta keep tossing the torch because I don't want to uh, light... Oh, I can't use the torch anymore because there's gold nuggets. You light the uh, the torches on the walls and it spawns gold nuggets. We are at the end, though. I can't see anything under me, but we are at the end. Oh. Dude, that was close. <laughs> I accidentally dropped down by the Tiki Torch, but I knew that there was a, at least a ledge I could grab. There's also a black market here. I could go to the black market just to skip a floor, if I really felt the need to. You know what? Just drop the pot. Grab this. Okay. Don't even need to use... A bomb! He's unconscious. He'll pick up his boomerang in a second, but... There we go. We got him. We got him! More ropes. Damn. Uh... Well, if I had the teleporter, I'd get that crate. Oh, I might be able to get it. I go down, use a rope, come back up. Yeah. I'll spend one bomb for a crate. I won't spend two bombs for a crate, though. You're, you're fine. Did not realize that um, throwing the boomerang downwards would make it not come back to me, but that makes sense. I can understand that. I can accept it. You know what? Don't stand under it in case money falls. Hopefully money doesn't fall, but you never know. Web gun. Web gun, huh? Well... It can be useful. You can use it for platforming. You can kind of just jump on the webs and jump off of them. I mean, it's what we got, so it's what we got. Really good for if you don't have sticky bombs. You can just web a wall and throw a bomb at the web, and then it'll web it for you. Uh, but I think I'd rather have the... Uh, I'd rather have the boomerang, and if I can get this guy's boomerang stuck, then he can't use it. Uh, you know what? Oh, well, okay, I'm not gonna use a, ro a rope to get it, but... I dropped the web gun. Fell. How silly of me. Something blew up here, I think. This is not normal level generation. At the very least, I'm getting a free dog. Oh, 
Okay, and a sacrifice. I can get it with... I can get it with two bombs. But there's that gold bar in the way up there at the top. Ugh. I think we just take the dog to the exit. I don't want to get rid of all my bombs to make a sacrifice work. I think I would prefer to have the option of using a bomb in the future if I need it or something. So we're just gonna leave. No gold run still on track. Uh, this is gonna be scary. You're gonna get eaten, dog. Goodbye. You ate the boomerang! Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> That's a spider. Oh, I'm dead. I stepped too close to I don't know why I didn't think the Tiki Trap would activate. Oh, it's so dumb. Okay, well, a good first attempt at doing a no gold run. We made it all the way down to the temple before we... Did I pick up... How did I die in the temple? I'm trying to think. Oh, right, I got telefragged by the crocodilian. Okay, we'll try again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, and I hope to see you here for the next run on Busted TV.